two set here at Eldora Speedway. And it's getting awfully real now. After a full day of racing that began this morning at 11 a.m., we have meet, reached the most anticipated night of short track racing ever. And what a day we've had, Randy Weaver. 124 cars, eight heat races, four B mains, two features captured by Chris Ferguson and Jonathan Davenport. And Randy, they blew the 10 minute horn on us. We thought we had a little more time here. We've only got about a couple minutes. If I had told you in 95, that there'd be a million to win race again for a second time. What would you say, Randy? I wouldn't believe it. Um, it just, it's awesome for a sport and just all the people involved and to have it here. I mean, yeah. it, it's just perfect. It, it is perfect. And we're getting ready to throw over to James Essex and Dustin Jarrett. But real quick, we had the day race today. Jonathan and Chris win those races. They look awfully good. Give us some of those news, notes, and nuggets, Randy, before we get into heat races here tonight. Well, the track prep and the sun yep. being that out is going to be a big difference. Um, those guys are good. The balance of the cars are good. So uh, I. Either one of them could win. <laughs> James and Dustin, you will have this dance all night long. We got six heat races, two B mains, and a $1,000,000 feature to win later. James and DJ, the dance floor is yours. Uh, I, I can't wait. Uh, I tell you what, man, I am. I told someone the other day, Michael and, and James and everyone, that uh, it, when, when you do, James, and, and you fall into this category as well. When you do the number of big races that we do, it, admittedly, man, being very candid, it, it's kind of easy to just fall in the rhythm of, of even the big races, the 50,000 wins to being just another event. This event tonight, from our vantage point, this is not just another race. This is a life-changing event. Yeah, and, uh, you know, add that to you and, you and I's resume as well. I mean, we've done every big race here for years, and, you know, Knoxville, Charlotte, you know, you go all over the country, but uh, one million to win. And uh, I was here back in 2001. It's hard to believe it's been that long, but <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I, I got goosebumps right now. And uh, man, I can't wait. Five, five drivers who were in that field. I shot tonight, Billy Moyer, Scott Bloomquist, Chubb Frank, Darrell Lanigan, Jimmy Mars all made the race in 01. See if they can work their way. Bloomquist was the highest finisher third that year, Dustin. We have got six traditional heat races coming up momentarily. You and I are going to talk about those for a couple minutes in a couple minutes. But before we do that, we're going to send it down to the Eldora Victory Stage where we are joined once again by our good friends Ben Shelton and Mike Norris. Thank you, DJ and James. Mike Norris, hard to believe a few hours from now, somebody is going to drive onto this Eldora Victory Lane stage and they're going to win $1,002,022. I would have never dreamed it in my lifetime. It's going to happen tonight. We talked about the drivers. What are your emotions like right I, now? What do you think I, right now? You know, I'm a very emotional person. <laughs> I could stand down here and cry. Like, like James said, I got goosebumps. This is an event, an event like no other. We are here, it's finally gonna happen. Those drivers anticipated it, we've anticipated it. I'm so fortunate to be here with you. We're gonna give away a million, over a million dollars tonight. This is unbelievable. We've been at the racetrack 11 hours. We had already meeting at 9 a.m. Eastern this morning. I've been windburned, I've been sunburned, our crew, same way, but man, we are fired up to get to be part of history and to watch one driver get a life-changing payday tonight, Mike. All of those things are all coming to fruition here at the Big E. Absolutely, all these great fans are gonna witness and be a part of this historic event. It's all starting to come together. Six big heat races, a couple of B mains, all the drama Eldora's gotta offer. We're all here. Somebody's gonna be a millionaire right here on this stage at Eldora Speedway, baby. Dustin and James, we're gonna have to get Norris a Xanax. He's all fired up down here. We all are, we're ready to go. Tell us what to expect here tonight. Well, Jerry Gappins told us uh, this is the second highest paying auto race in 2022, only behind the Indy 500. Is that unbelievable to that think about? That is incredible. Like, right here in the little town of Rossburg, Ohio. We the Indy 500 got. paid 3.1 million, but if you go, what is it per lap? This race pays more. This is the highest per lap than yes. the 200 lap Indy 500. The highest paying race per lap of of any event uh, in the country. James, we have got six heat races coming up. These heat races are going to be 15 laps, and with 124 entries, we've gone old school, man. We've got six heats, about 20 or 21 cars each, for 15 laps to help determine the starting lineup for tonight's 
101 lap Eldora Million. We started with 124 cars from 27 states, two Canadian provinces, Australia, <laughs> and I... <laughs> And Mike Marler, by the way, in case you missed it, spun the zero. There were two zeros yes. out, of, out of like 20 numbers yes. on the Wheel of Misfortune, and he spun one of them. And so he's on the pole of heat number one. So the six drivers, now the top two, if they don't make it out of the heat race, will be your provisional starting 19th and 20th. Right now, Marler and Madden. But they want to make it in to get a good starting spot for this 101 lap race that's something we need to note as well to the fans that may not know that dustin that's right so we'll have six heat races 15 laps each top three out of each heat race will transfer again just as we've done with the eldora crown jewels in years past james the winner of heat one will start sixth in the eldora million and the winner of heat six will start on the pole of the eldora million positions 19 and 20 will be made up of the two high point drivers that have not transferred in and then the final four starters in the Eldora Million, James, will be the top two out of each B-Main. And it's worth noting, James, the B-Mains, because of the number of entries, again, old school. Only the drivers who finish fourth through 11th in their heat races even get to start the B-Mains. If you finish 12th on back in your heat race, you're done for the night. And it's old school, 24 starters. That's it. No 28, no 30, no 32. It's 24 starters out of 124 cars. There'll be 100 teams on the trailer at the end of the B-Mains. Uh, unbelievable, man. Uh, unbelievable. And I tell you what, this uh, the car count uh, exceeded my expectations, and I'm not afraid to say it. I think it exceeded yours as well. Yeah, I was figuring maybe 80 to 90, but uh, yeah. we end up with 124. We didn't get a lap turn last night, had some bad weather roll through. And uh, this afternoon, Chris Ferguson, Jonathan Davenport, and they were two of the favorites heading into this race tonight. And don't forget, we also have preliminaries tomorrow night, and then we've got 128,000 to win the Dirt Late Mud of Dreams Saturday night. So uh, the anticipation is building, again, an invert of zero, none. So the, fa the six... Drivers topping the points. They will be on the pole of their respective heat races. By the way, on the pole of heat number six, Dustin, this driver was less than a year old when the first million happened. Hudson O'Neill, if he wins heat number six, he will be on the pole, and he was born in the year 2000. And his dad led the first 25 laps of the original Eldora million back in, back in 2001. I mean, it's, it's the, the storylines... <laughs> You know, you and I oh, see, yep, and, and, yep. And, and Ben and, and, and Mike Norris, man, and, and Rigsby, the, the whole group, we see people all the time that talk about how great the broadcasts are and how, and how wonderful everything is. The truth is, James, the storylines for this event and at this racetrack, they write themselves. You got Heat 4 on the pole, Devin Moran. If he wins that race, he will start inside of row two. What if, what if, just what if, what if Hudson O'Neill does win that last heat what if he leads the first 25 laps of this race and then Devin Moran takes the lead does history rewrite you can't itself? make this stuff up I mean, it, it, we've seen there, we've seen so many there's a lot of what unbelievable ifs. Scott Bloomquist by the way starts 14th in heat race number five and Billy Moyer starts seventh in heat number four so the two goats can they make it in for the second Eldora Million. Well, there are a lot of storylines, again, writing themselves. But, again, Mike Norris, Ben Shelton, you guys are on top of all of these things. And I know that you have been and are talking to drivers down in the pit area. No, we absolutely are. And I tell you what, I'm going to grab one real quick. Shane Clanton, you were not here in 2001. You didn't come to Eldora the first time until 2003. You're starting outside front row in Heat 4. You win that one. You start third tonight. You've been doing this forever, man. Are you nervous at all right now? No, that's uh, when we won the, the first world I won in 2008. That's where we started third in the, in the feature. So hopefully tonight give me a repeat and we win a million bucks. To see it grow and to have this much money on the line tonight, how proud are you to be part of this sport and this event? Oh, uh, real proud. Uh, hell, you got to drive up to NASCAR to, drive, to win a million bucks, and here we get a chance to win a million bucks. And uh, I don't know, hats off Tony Stewart for giving us the opportunity to win this much money. Uh, the sport's growing, the internet's growing, it's, it's crazy right now. Last thing for you, you've seen the track prep, what do you look for out of it tonight? I think it's going to be good. Uh, the racing was good today, I thought, what he did a little bit he had to do before our features, so uh, hopefully it just lasts 100 laps. 
Guys, that's Shane Clanton. He'll start outside front row in heat four as we are getting set to send race cars to the Speedway. Real quick, Dustin, Ben, guess who we got? Hudson O'Neill right on cue. Hudson, the emotions. Yeah. Uh -huh. you no. Know, anytime you're coming to a race that there's this much on the line, you're going to have a little bit of nerves. But, no, uh, we have an opportunity here. As long as everything goes well, we can start on the pole of this thing, which my dad did, you know, back here in 2001. So it could be a little bit of memorabilia for me. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes, and hopefully we can uh, lead this thing to green here in just a little bit. Donnie and Devin, and Don and Hudson, unbelievable. Father, sons, you got to love it. This is Eldora. Anything could happen. I wish you the best of luck, my man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. How about it, race fans, for Hudson O'Neill? First group ready to and go. And for the rest of time, as long as we're announcing this winner tonight, will be introduced as a million-dollar winner. That's It'll, right. Uh, That's right, James. This I way. wouldn't play that up much at every race that I go oh. to the rest of the year, would I? No. No, no. not at all. No, not, not at all. No, no, no. Not at all. These are, I believe, the drivers in heat race number one that are on the track for a very, very quick hot lap session, about like what we saw earlier today, James. Green, white, checkered. That's it. Uh, they're going to go out there. They're going to make about a lap and a half, two laps at full speed, and, and that's it. Among the drivers you're seeing on the racetrack, Joseph Joyner there out of Milton, Florida, in the 10 behind him. A prelim winner earlier tonight out of Mount Holly, North Carolina, Chris Ferguson in the 22. Yeah, Joseph Joyner yes. almost made that one feature, right? He missed it yes. by one spot on a great move by Trent Ivey coming to the checkers. Yeah, Trent Ivey passed him last turn, last lap. There's a that is look. just a beautiful car, isn't it? Yes, and that is a driver that has a million dollars on his mind. He won a 25-lap prelim just a couple hours ago. Can he stay up front for 101 laps tonight? That is Chris Ferguson. The other driver, what, I shouldn't say the other, one of the other favorites right there on your screen, Mike Marler, James. Why is he a favorite? Well, he was the high point man tonight. He is one of two drivers that is guaranteed a starting spot in tonight's a main because he was one of the two high point guys after the matinee earlier today. He was the high point man. Chris Madden was the second highest point man. They right. are the only two drivers guaranteed starting spots in the Eldora Million. And that's determined after the heat races. So if he doesn't make it out of the heat race, the top three, he will start 19th. If he gets in the top three, then we'll just keep on going down the list That's until right. we get to the down. But Mike Marler and that Cornette-powered Longhorn for Ronnie Delk, he'll be on the pole of this first heat in a little bit. Chris Ferguson will be alongside. You got Bab Strickler. Look at this. Carson Ferguson. How yep. thrilling is it for him? Kyle Strickler. Oh, man. You and I were here amongst, <laughs> what, 350 people here a few yeah. years ago. And that heartbreak when that tire went down, $50,000, the Intercontinental Classic. So, again, these are the drivers in heat race number one that are on the track for a very, very quick hot lap session to make sure their cars are okay, to make sure the racetrack is okay. And uh, in all honesty, James, to just get a couple laps on this racetrack here with the sun behind the clouds at 8.36 p.m. on a Thursday night. To make sure this track is ready to go, Jimmy Owens with a million dollars on his mind, a former Dirt Late Model Dream and World 100 champion in the 20 car. Owens set to roll off outside row three of the first heat race a little bit later on tonight. Heat race number one will determine starting position six, seven, and 13 in the Eldora Million. The winner will start sixth. Second in heat one will start seventh. And the third place finisher in the first heat race will start 13th. Dirtdraft.com coming on board once again, James, to be the presenting sponsor of Hot Laps here tonight. You play Dirt Draft, it's time to set a brand new lineup, which I have not done yet, by the way. And the 50-50 right now, 74,000. Second my. place in the Eldora Million is $100,000 tonight oh, we're gonna get above for that. the runner-up spot. So the record for one day, 106,000. So we can get past that. That'll be more money than second place will earn tonight. I, I think it's gonna happen. Yep. I need to get my tickets, by the way. You do. All right, that first heat race will be coming up in a little bit right now. 21 cars will be starting. It's good to be back to the way it used to be, right? 20 cars at a heat race. It's, it's, it's been a while. It's been, what, over more than 10 years yeah, since, since we've we had, had this many cars. Yeah. 
and it's almost surreal. And, and I mean, again, and, and you think about it, um, what if, and again, there's so many what ifs coming into this race, right? You and I have hit on a few of them, but what if one of the guys that is not high in points, one of the, one of the contenders, one of the drivers that, that has a chance to win this, what if something happens in his heat race that does not allow that driver to finish? Again, only four through 11 get the opportunity to run the last chance qualifiers. Yeah, if you have a flat tire, we've seen it so many times. Yes, we saw it in, in, yep. heat, in heat yep. five in the, in the first uh, heat for Group B earlier tonight. I mean, any, anything can happen, man. And then you get down to the end, and you have the double file restarts all night long, Dustin. Look, look. Yep. I, I love you like a brother, and you know that. I will run your ass clear up into the wall for a million dollars, James. There is a hey, – and anybody that says they wouldn't is lying. Move over Regis Philbin because I'm coming through, <laughs> right? Yes. Get out of my way, Yes, Reg. That's right. The next group of uh, hot laps making their way onto the track. This is heat race number two, and there's so many cars here, James. We've actually got a log jam of cars trying to get off of the racetrack from that first flight of dirt draft hot laps to make their way into the infield for this second flight of hot laps. Hey yeah. guys, real quick, I want to I got our good buddy down here Blake Anderson of course, the voice of the Tezos All-Star Sprint Cars. Blake, you got an off night watching the million. What do you think about one guy winning over a million bucks tonight in this super late model event? It's mind blowing. There's no place I'd rather be in the world than right here at Eldora. It's a million dollars to win tonight. I can't even fathom what the winner's going to feel like in a couple hours on this stage behind us, Ben. We've been down here all day. You just made your way down from the tower. Describe the electricity down here. It's just an energy that you can't manufacture. It's just naturally there. Everyone's. It's kind of an intense energy, but it's really cool. Something I've never felt in this sport. I hope we get to feel it again. Soak it up. Enjoy it, my friend. Our good buddy Blake Anderson, DJ, we'll throw it back up to you. I, I got a real quick question for Blake. Uh-oh, DJ's I, got a question. I, just, on me. I want to know, is this heaven? Is this DJ wants to know, is this heaven? Now, knowing a lot of sprint car people like Tracy Clay are watching this right now. I mean, heaven's Iowa, but <laughs> it's this is pretty close. This is awesome. I just, man, it, I, like I said, third highest paying race in the world. No, second. Second. second, so even better, a million dollars to win. Who wants to be a millionaire tonight? It's on. Guys, I like it. Blake's all fired up down here tonight. We're all feeling it, and the next wave of cars are on the speedway. Ben, if Tyler Courtney makes this race and wins it, I don't even know how. There's no oh, living with Blake. Oh, no living with Blake. We no. will actually have to have Blake escorted off the property if Tyler Courtney just makes the show. And speaking of popular sprint car drivers running this race, James, on your screens, the 10-time World of Outlaws Series champion Donnie Shaw to the Fargo, North Dakota. He is one of the 21 drivers Set the lineup for heat race number two a little bit later on tonight. A few of the other drivers on the track for this hot lap session. James, Chris Smokey Madden. And I don't know that Smokey is actually out there. So he is in this heat race. But Chris Smokey Madden, I don't believe, has elected to partake in this hot lap session. That's interesting. He has never won a crown jewel race here at Eldora. He's had a terrific start to the season here and 15 laps. He number two, by the way, he's going to be on the pole outside. It'll be Kyle Bronson, then Mason Ziegler and Ricky Thorne Jr. So a little bit of mind games maybe as uh, we've seen the zero do before, but uh, Madden feels like he might have a good enough car. He's just going to go out and see what happens. But well, he, this he, thing, uh, who knows? He talked earlier yeah. about, what a, about what a good race car that he has, and he talked about the changes that he, he thought he needed to make for the feature a little bit early on today. And, and then he said, you know what? We, uh, we got a little scared. We decided not to. There's a good look at your uh, reigning Kings Royal champ, Tyler Courtney in the 7BC. I mean, if, if Tyler Courtney wins, you've got to let Blake do the interview, don't it you? Is, it is Northern <laughs> Iowa Handler's T-shirt, man. Well, I think that if Tyler Courtney wins, Blake gets half the money. He would get over <laughs> half a million. Hey, I want to, Randy Weaver, looks like maybe Chris Madden decided not to hot lap. Is that a decision you would make on this race, seeing maybe the racetrack a little bit slimy and not to learn, much to learn? Yeah, I mean, somebody's got as much experience as Chris. <clears throat> you know, there's no need to take that chance. It's still a little slimy. And what will happen a lot of times, if you ain't careful, you'll overthink it. You'll go out there and 
be a little tight or something and come in and try to change and where you shouldn't have. So, you know, it wasn't that long ago they was on the racetrack and he's been here several times. So for teams like that, that don't surprise me. But uh, for teams like my son, he better be out there. <laughs> there yeah. you go, guys. And also, of course, Ben, the Marler and Madden, they're locked in no matter what. That is a good point. They are both in the show, Randy. So if you knew you were already in, would you maybe skip out on some hot laps? Well, again, just because of, uh, you know, not that you're already in, but the track really is not going to be what you race on, even in the heat race. So, uh, you know, those guys are over, they've got a big notebook, they're making their adjustments, and they'll, they'll be good. So, that, that quality of team, I, it don't surprise me. But Cameron Marler, uh, excuse me, Cameron Weaver, the other Cameron, Cameron Weaver better be out there. Dad's going to go over there and square things up with him. He's sitting in staging behind us. He's going to be just fine. Well, guys, the uh, drivers in heat race number three about to make their way out on the speedway again for what we've seen, a, a very uh, quasi-hot lap session, I guess so to say, James, about a lap and a half, two laps or so. Uh, the drivers in heat race number three, when they run their 15-lap heat race a little bit later on this evening, they will be vying for starting positions four, nine, and 15. And tonight's 101-lap Eldora Million. Bobby Pierce and Tim McCready, they will be on the front row of Heat 3 in a little bit. Heat 4, front row again, Devin Moran and Shane Clinton. Heat 5, Jonathan Davenport and Daryl Lanigan. And that sixth and final heat for the pole position, Hudson O'Neill. And how about Kenny Collins? What a story that would be, right? You better get him in the dirt draft or you never know, do you, oh, Destin? Oh, oh, no, I need... Yeah, you, you need to do that. i tell you what, yeah, you talk for a couple minutes, James. <laughs> I am going to set my dirtdraft.com fantasy lineup right now. I got, a, I got a text from one of the guys at Dirt Draft that said, thanks for the mentions. You didn't do too well earlier today, so I need to. You know, I need to really pay yeah, attention. Yeah, and you need here. to reset your password, by I, the way. I, I, okay. I, well, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> look, if we make these passwords in life any harder, I mean, I need an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a number, a special character, an Egyptian hieroglyphic, the blood of a virgin. I mean, I don't. I don't know what. Well, I'm doing. Well, Easy. This is a family show, DJ. What are you doing up there, man? <laughs> you need. You need to have Freddie Carpenter say your password because <laughs> yes. I don't understand anything that guy says on Facebook. Do you? <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> it's great. He'd be tough being a court reporter in a courthouse, wouldn't he, yes. for a trial? Yes, yes. There Imagine you go. him typing. I like it. I like it. He probably, he probably still has a manual typewriter. You know, the, the only translator I've never needed at a dirt track was for Jack Sullivan, and I'm not sure the translator knew what Jack was saying either. So, Or Wendell Wallace. Well, Wendell, at least, you kind of get a feel. But, yeah, he is kind of cut from that Jack Sullivan mold. You're good friends with both of them, Randy. Do you know what what uh, Jack Salt and Wendell Wall? I know they're watching. You, can you understand them when they're trying to speak to you? I don't know that Jack knows what he's trying to say, but uh, <laughs> he, he puts a lot of effort in it, and uh, I just kind of nod my head and go on. But super good guys, man. It has a lot of racing history. But uh, I'm telling you, after the races, they're the group to hang out with. They are the group to hang out with, and you saw he did the politician answer. He threw him under the bus, and then he picked him up. He dusted him off and went and bought him a cold drink. That's what Randy Weaver does, race fans. Yeah, he's vote for him for the Constitution Party, Ben. <laughs> right? Oh, All right. Oh, we'll let the cars that are parked on top come back down here. And at first heat, they'll have to go through tire tech to and, staging. Yes, Mike. And real quick, guys, I did go back just because I wanted to know for personal preference, Chris Madden, he said the exact same thing Randy Weaver said. He said, I've made enough laps around here. There's so many cars. I don't want to hiccup. I don't want to damage my car. So I'm just going to leave her sit and get ready for the heat race. Because if he wins that heat race, he will start, what, fifth, Dustin, right? That's heat race That's number right. two. And if he doesn't and has to take a provisional, he will start at least 19th or 20th. That's right. Yes. Good job. You're mad. I leave that. I leave that to you to figure out who finishes second You're, in the heat, where they would start, versus if they won it. Well, right. I, I wrote. You've it got down. all that written that's, out. You're I, doing I, I great. I wrote it down. Yeah, Thank so, you. I mean, that's what makes the sixth heat so interesting, man. I mean, if you win heat race number six, you start on the pole, but if you finish second, you start twelfth. You know. You know. You know. One thing Ben was talking earlier. We were talking about Tim Hit, the late Tim Hit. He was the only driver that made the race that uh, unfortunately has passed away in the last year or so. There are no car numbers in the 60s here again this year. You remember back when we had Tim Hitt, Pat Patrick, Pat you had Patrick. Bill Fry. 
No cars in the 60s Johnny here, the 124. Yeah, 66V. No yeah. cars in the 60s. Yes, that's right. Daryl yes. Herbert, 67. Oh, my. Put in, oh, Danny yeah. Dean. I can not turn right. in the 67, yes. So I guess Rex McCroskey, he didn't make it that year in no, the 64. Not 64, no, no. Oh. Good, good job. Wow. Good Rex McCroskey reference. But you know what? Denny Felker that he raced against a lot. Denny, yep. uh, he yep. made some noise in 56. that first dream. <laughs> yes. That's right. But he was 16, I think, when he, he number was 16. 16. Well, he was. But, hey, James, for bonus points, what chassis was Denny Felker in? American made. That's oh, right. there it is. So American made. American hey, made. Randy said he drove one. Randy, what year was oh, that, 73, 74? <laughs> no, it was about the year he was born, around the 65 mark, probably. <laughs> You're still waiting on you to grow up. Oh. That ain't happening, buddy. But, yeah, American made race cars. If you had that on your bingo card at home, then you probably just won the game. So an American made was actually the first chassis that my uncle, Greg Bomber, ever raced. It was an American-made race car. There's a good look at Tim McCready right there, one of the favorites coming in. The drivers on the racetrack right now are the drivers in heat race number four. We'll give them a lap, lap and a half, two laps. There's Brandon Overton in the 76, and James, his afternoon for the folks just now tuning in did not go the way he wanted it to. Yeah, involved in the first lap accident, came back, made the show, but right now he's going to start eighth, dominated the dirt, both dreams here a year ago. Over, was it over $300,000 he walked out of here just in June, and then he came back and won the 51st World 100 in September. Yeah, and I, uh, real quick, I mentioned Heat 4. That's actually Heat 3, the drivers that are in Heat race number 3, getting an opportunity to go out there and blow a little bit of grease off of this racetrack. Caution flag going to wait here in about one more lap. As that Heat race will have Bobby Pierce and Tim McCready in row one. Row two, James, would be Johnny Scott, and the guy on the outside of row two had a great run in his prelim feature earlier on tonight. The guy on your screen right there, well, he was on your screen momentarily, the 25 of Jason Fegger, a great run for him. Remember Johnny Scott led some of the 50, with the yes, 50th World 100 yes, last he year. Did. Scott Bloomquist started on a pole of that one. There's Jason Fegger. Yeah, very impressed with him. I mean, you've got to feel good for him. He's... Struggle not only here at Eldora, but it seems like he's just had nothing but bad luck the last few years, and it'd be good to see him make the race. $5,000 just to make the race. That's the second highest start money in the history of Dirt Lake Motor Racing, only to the I-80 Silver Dollar Nationals that is $5,300 to start, Dustin. Well, Spencer Hughes still the quickest right now in hot laps for whatever that's worth. We haven't touched on that a whole lot because, uh, again, uh, these are very quasi kind of hot lap sessions. Uh, there is no qualifying night. Heat race lineups already set up. So not touching on dirtdraft.com hot laps maybe as much as, as we normally would, James. But Spencer Hughes, for those of you watching at home and those of you here at the racetrack, you can see right now the quickest in warm-ups. Ricky Thornton Jr. second. Brendan Smith, remember, he was quick a little bit earlier on this afternoon, the second-generation driver out of floor in the 17S. He is third fastest right now in warm-ups. So, again, these are the drivers in heat race number three on the track. Let them pack this racetrack in just a moment or two. Show you, those of you watching at home on Flow Racing, a few of the different drivers on the speedway. There you see the 21 of Dakota Knuckles. There's a good look at the 94 of Jason Miller. And, James, he laid down a good qualifying lap a little early on this evening. He's going to roll off outside row four of this third heat race. A good look at the 19 of Logan Robertson, who has set the start 17th in heat number three. Just a little bit later on this evening as he rolls by the other 19, 19 are the Reaper Ryan Gustin. Gustin out of Marshalltown, Iowa, set the start sixth in this third heat race later on tonight. James, did you set your Dirt Draft Fantasy lineup? Uh, not yet. I'm still waiting on my shirt, <laughs> my T-shirt. Did you use Did you use the code Flow Racing? No, I did not. Inside information: If you are not a DirtDraft.com member already, and if you use the code Flow Racing F L O R A C I N G, they'll send you a free T-shirt. Where are you at on the current standings? Uh, Have you improved since uh, the last time I heard you? Uh, probably not. Good. Mm, okay. Probably not good. Okay. All right. Those cars head back to the pit I, area. Look, I <laughs> like to gamble. It's not my specialty. Ah. I see. 
one million two thousand and twenty two. You and by the way, we said earlier, you and I, the, the twenty two dollars, we've become the J W Hunt of the two thousands <laughs> yes, and contributing yes. our. I like to do that. Let's like to have the money. We just go racetrack to racetrack all over the country, just passing out money to right. some guy that finishes fifteenth or has a tough night or something. Here's a tire. You know the price of tires and the price of fuel. Yeah, yeah two hundred fifty bucks a tire, five dollars <laughs> a gallon for gas. Yeah, uh, six hundred dollars for a nose piece. Yeah, yeah six. Yeah, six dollars plus for diesel right now. Yeah, we, we should do that. Hey guys, we talked about all the different disciplines. Paying attention to what we're doing, I'm going to grab him right now. Walkopedia, Brian Walker, Brian. You had an off night from the World of Outlaw Sprint Cars. You're out here checking out the Dirt Million. Play again, the Eldora Million. What's been the biggest thing that stuck out to you so far this week? Uh, probably the atmosphere, honestly. So, I mean, you know, two years ago when I was at the Late Models, I got to experience the stream at Intercontinental. There was nobody here. It was only us in the infield. So to be here with, I mean, 20,000 people, it's, it's insane. The atmosphere is it's unbelievable. So can you go ahead and say a late model atmosphere is better than a sprint car? Is that what you're trying to say here tonight? I cannot say that exactly. <laughs> well, are you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I, I I said it two years ago. I hope I never missed another world in a dream. I still need to come to an actual dream in a world. So hopefully I'll do that soon. Well, guys, he does a great job with World of Outlaws, NOS Energy Drink, Sprint Cars, PR, Walkopedia, all kinds of cool stuff on Twitter. Brian Walker, glad to have all these sprint car guys, whether they're wingless or non-winged in the house with us. Your boy Blake Anderson's coming to bail you out. You guys stick together. Well, Ben, if you'd asked Doug Clark the same question, he'd give you the same answer as <laughs> Brian did, didn't he? He would. Doug Clark would also give us a lecture. He has lectured both you and I, James, and Indeed. we enjoyed every minute of it. Doug Speaking Wolfgang would have lapped him five times. <laughs> Speaking of the World of Outlaws, we just saw the 111V of Max Blair. There's the Franklin Enterprises 14, Mitchell Indiana's Chase Briscoe, NASCAR Sprint Cup Series driver in that entry. These are the drivers in heat race number four making their way on the track at the end of the front straightaway, Billy Moyer. There's a good look at Devin Moran. James, Devin Moran picked up a heat race win and a top five finish early on, and he is a going to start on the pole of heat race number four a little bit later on tonight. And when these when this 15 lap heat race is on the track, James, they will be vying for starting spots three, 10, and 16 in the Eldora Million. Two more sessions after this, then we'll be ready to go with our pre-race invocation and national anthem. Rob Penrod throwing the white flag here in this cars that'll be in the fourth heat race. Oh, the tension's building, Dustin. The sun is set, the sun is setting behind us. Mm -mm -mm. James, uh, we didn't mention it after that last hot lap session, but did you see who has jumped to the top of the leaderboard in hot laps? Brandon Overton. <laughs> you're just you're sitting there yeah, nodding. You know, in all the races he did last year, he nearly won a million dollars in total purses, and he could win <laughs> here within a, about an hour and a half think, of work. Think about, I mean, everything in, in really in, in our society. Think about the million dollar to win game shows. Think about the NASCAR all-star race. Think about the incentives that entice people. One million dollars. We've got that right here tonight. I've got an, us. an interesting question, Dustin. Okay. Randy Weaver, can you hear me? Yes, he can hear you. Yeah, he's got you. I've got a question. Now, a lot of there, there's several of these drivers that are owner driver. Now, drivers that drive for car owners are we still in the 25 to 30 percent range on uh, purses? What what is uh, what do you know out there? Uh, not if you got a good driver. <laughs> uh, you're you're 30 and 40 percent. Some of them do them on tier, uh, where there's a salary, and then if you win, say up to 3,000, you're at 25 percent, and then as it goes up, you're you know they cap them around 40 percent. So a lot of different pay scales, and depends on what you know their job title is and how much involved they are at the shop but uh your your top drivers are definitely going to be a 40 percent driver what would james or dustin what kind of percentage are we talking about for those guys <laughs> they would have to pay me probably 50 percent boy it's, it's the weirdest thing randy's microphone just got muted i don't know i don't know what happened there oh he meant it that's, he's that's an honest man know. yeah that's interesting to know because <laughs> that is yeah, a lot of the guys, you know, like Scott Bloomquist owns his own team, so, you know, pay the crew a little bit, right? 
Hey, he, I said, he said he'd pay a lot. Of, what did he say? He did, what did he say he would in that three race? Scott? Huh? Everybody. Pay everybody. Oh, he said pay everybody on the team. Yeah, big bonus, he said. There we go. That's nice. Hey, yeah. absolutely. He did. Well, I'll tell you what, on a serious note, Randy, they're getting the, this racetrack ironed in. If you're in heat race one, do you want to be starting on the inside or the outside? The inside, for sure. Just that start off of four, it dictates everything, the entry into one, and, uh, you know, you just feel safer there because uh, you can start pretty much when you need to. You also can cut the corner and do a slider, or you can rotate around that bottom. So when you're to the outside, the inside guy dictates what you're going to do. So uh, definitely inside pole would be the spot. By the time we get to heat six, does it matter? Uh, it used to, it started getting better after like the third heat, um, but I still say the way they've worked the track and what they're trying to accomplish for later on, uh, that inside pole would be the place to be. All right, heat five cars, they make their way onto the racetrack. That lineup, Jonathan Davenport and Daryl Lanigan will be on the front row. Then you have like Brandon Shepard. And Trent Ivey was impressive here this afternoon. That last lap pass to make it not, in to not, one of the features. Yes, not P.D. Not, Ivey, not Tyler Ivey. It's Trent. The little head knocker. Yes, that's right. Yes. So. so the, and, and again, the winner of Heat 5, a little later on tonight, will start second. They'll start on the outside front row of the Eldora Million. Second in Heat 5, James, will start 11th. It's pretty big, uh, pretty big gap right there. On those first heat cars, probably be making their way through Tire Tech here in just a little bit. Again, we'll have our pre-race ceremonies, our invocation and national anthem. As we, heat uh, five rolling. <laughs> we, we may have a special guest on the stage uh, just before the start of the Eldora Million, too, by the way. Oh, an unnamed guest? I don't know if it's unnamed. It's not a huge surprise, but, you know, we, we, may, we, may, we may have the opportunity to have a guest up there. Fair enough. Let's go look at John Henderson in the 2X. James, you talked about him. He, he's run, he ran well in the matinee earlier today, didn't he? He's in a warrior car, the only warrior in the house this weekend. We've got one warrior and one master's build. Master build. That's right. Two uh, Barry Wrights. Two Barry Wrights. And, of course, Rayburn. The, I mean, C.J. Rayburn passed away in early Jan. That's still, I, I, it's tough for me to talk about. Sure. I mean, just a, just a longtime friend of mine. And, uh, you know, and, and remember when he first started and, uh, the top two cars at the first million was Rayburn cars, obviously, with yes. the, uh, Donnie Moran and Steve Smith. And Steve Smith was actually uh, CJ's car. Yes, he, he was. He split it with him. He said, what, 50000 for a second? And yes. uh, Steve walked away with 25000 Yes. And there's a big difference in, in the purse this year as yeah. well. While it's, while it's still a million, actually a million, 2,020, 100000 for a second. You mentioned earlier 5000 to start. This is a... A very hefty purse right there on your screen. One of the drivers that made the original million back in 2001, James, out of Union, Kentucky, Daryl Lanigan. The fastest flat top. Yes. He looks the same today as he did back then. <laughs> You're right. Well, a little less there, but he, yeah, he did. Yes. And there's, I, I mean, how do you not go against the 49 car? He's, I tell you, he's good right you know? now. And, and if you are, you know, if, if Vegas had odds on this race, I mean, Davenport would probably be about a plus. <laughs> Rachel right. said no, yeah. none of us to pick him. Rachel oh, okay. Davenport said no, don't, don't okay. any of you pick oh, him on Twitter. Oh. There's zero. With a hot rod septic treatment, zero is Scott Blumquist. And again, he is going to start 14th in this heat race. He was one of the last arrivals yesterday evening. And uh, he was late getting out there for his heat race. He started at the tail. And uh, I just just be very honest, James. He he, uh, he was not uh, was not good early on today. Chase Fraunapple in the 145 with trouble down in turn number three, and that'll put us under caution in the second to last hot lap session of the evening. It looks like he's got damage. He may get into someone or get into the wall. As uh, you see, the nose is cracked. Dustin, we're a little RJ less Hall. than eighteen thousand away from a hundred thousand we're going to be at a hundred thousand for the winner share the 50 50 very soon uh if you if you have not bought a 50 50 ticket yet I, I i don't know what else to say i mean i don't really know why anybody would not buy one um if you are watching at home and you are anywhere anywhere in the state of ohio 
you can go to Eldora5050.com and buy your tickets. And I, I have a very, 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 very good feeling that the winner's share of the 50-50 is going to be up over $100,000 this evening. Oh, my. I just got a text, James. Shout out to our good friend and former Eldora general manager, Roger Slack, who is watching tonight. Good to hear from him, yeah. Yes, Roger. They're going to be banging the boards tonight, brother. He hey. come up with it. He come up with that. That's right. I'm almost surprised he's not lurking somewhere here tonight. I tell you what, I also want to give a shout out. We talked about Dalton Wilson earlier and Dustin, he actually came to and raced with us the casserole race here back in April, so not his first time here. But do want to give a shout out to his mom, Rona. Rona's been battling cancer. She had her final one of her final treatments today. She's moving along into um, she's moving into the radiation treatments. We just want to let her know we're thinking about her, and she's got to be proud of her boy because he made the show earlier today, and he's trying to put it in the million here tonight. And also, James, I got to give a shout out to my buddy Wes Gwatney, the vo voice of the Comp Camp Super Dirt Series. He reminded me, Fast Eddie Rickman was in that first million, and what was his car number? 68. Fast That's Lewis right, Rickman. He's still getting it done in a stock car down at Magnolia any given Saturday night. So, shout out to the Rickman clan. I know they're tuned in here tonight. Hopefully, we'll see Brian and Rick. And you never know when Eddie's going to show up. Maybe they could all show up at the World 100 come September. Ben, the Goat Farm Posse. Baby. That is right. Yep. The greatest name for a race team. Some of the finest folks you'll meet. They have always gone out of their way to help me however I can, however they can. And they do it for a lot of folks. And uh, Brian Rickman got a big win last week at Batesville Motor Speedway with the Comp Camp Series. And again, hopefully we can see Rick and Brian back at Eldora pretty soon in car 86 and car 90. We'll move this groove up, pack in the top. These will be heat. Race number five cars. There's the 49 car. Won one of the 25 laps earlier tonight. There's Scott Bloomquist in the zero. You mentioned him starting outside of row number seven, Dustin. I don't know that he makes the show. I mean, Dustin's coming swinging right now, James. He's, he's, I mean, I'm he's daring yeah. zero to prove him wrong, look, it seems look, like. Guys, this is a tough heat race here. I mean, Davenport, Landing, and Shepard. Ivy was good. Dalton Wilson, Mark Whitener was good. I mean, it, there, there's some pretty good cars in this heat race. I, I don't know. I can, I can see him getting in the top five, honestly, so? and making okay. it out of a B main, maybe. Out of a B. But, yeah, but, now, well, remember, only the top two out of those two B mains, though, make it right? in, James. I mean, I, I don't know. Well, what would be drama in Eldora without Scott Bloomquist, right? I, I have I no mean, idea what you're talking about there's this never happened here no idea that's never happened right now the light's green <laughs> yes yes there's a green light there's a green light we're about to we're about to throw the green you know you notice what it says on there don't you there's a green light and there's a zero right beside it See yes it? yeah okay hey one thing to mention james yes sir as we were you and i and and ben and, and norris we were uh during the break, we're kind of refreshing ourselves, looking over just some notes and, and procedures and things like that. 2350 is the minimum weight requirement set forth by Dirt Car for the events this weekend. For the A main, there is a 100 pound per lap burnoff. We go 101 laps. We go 101 laps, that's right. So that would be 2249. 2249 49. Right. will be the minimum. There's car number 49 on the track. But not for the heat races. Not for the heats, not or for the, the bees. bees, right. Right. We're about to go past 83,000 on the 50-50. Here's Daryl Lanigan in the 29, James. One of five drivers that are racing this weekend that made the original Dirt Million. Eldora Million, excuse me. There's Rick Boom Briggs in the 99B. Fastest driver in warm-ups. For whatever that is worth, still Brandon Overton with a 15608. Spencer Hughes second quick. Max Blair third. Ricky Thornton Jr. fourth. Jonathan Davenport just turned the fifth fastest lap of any driver in hot laps here tonight. And next up will be the final wave of warm-ups here this evening. These are the drivers in heat race number six. When this heat race rolls out a little later on tonight, James, the winner of this heat race will start on the pole of the Eldora Million. Second place in this heat will start 12th. 
in third place will start 18th. Unbelievable. You talked about uh, Moyer and Bloomquist with the number of laps here. I think probably Daryl Lanigan probably has the third most laps here that is here this weekend, don't you think, in the 29 former Dirt Lake yeah. Dream winner. So that he race there, Davenport, Lanigan, Shepard, the first three spots in that Heat 5. Heat 6, Hudson O'Neill. Yes, please turn your thoughts. On the pole of that one, Kenny Collins. What a story. What a great qualifying run he had this afternoon. Josh Rice. In the 11 car, Greg Satterley, Ricky Weiss, Dale McDowell. Kind of a quiet afternoon for him. And he'll start sixth in that sixth heat. Don't be surprised if he wins it and starts on the pole tonight. But Guys, I got a chance. Go ahead, Mike. I got a chance to talk to Josh Rice, uh, the driver out of Verona, Kentucky. Won his uh, heat race, but then in the feature went straight back. And he said, we should have just left the car alone. We decided to make a couple of adjustments on it. We went back to... Uh, the original setup, so look for Josh Rice to have a good hot rod come Heat 6. And also want to look for in that 58 car in this Heat 6, Dustin. Garrett Alberson had a rough afternoon, but he's going to start inside row 9, and he's been pretty quick lately in the Lucas Oil Series, second in the Rookie of the Year chase. Cameron Weaver, can't can't forget him, right? I assume Randy negotiated his percentage, right? Driving for uh, That's right. Ronnie Wyatt there in Crossville. He'll start 11th in his heat race. So the final wave of hot laps before we get underway with our pre-race ceremonies here tonight. Good look at that Roberts Racing 58 of Garrett Alperson. There's Kenny Collins, James, who turned a quick qualifying lap earlier. Ran well in his heat. Ran very respectable in his feature. And he will start on the outside front row of tonight's A-Main. There's Josh Rice in the 11. Former track champ Kent Robinson in the 7R. Kenny Collins, this is only the second time he's ever been here. It was yeah. only the first time a couple years ago. So James Ricky Rice, by the way, just turned the second fastest lap of any driver in hot laps. The checkers out. You know what's next. <laughs> Pre-race ceremonies coming up. That first heat will be headed to Tire Tech, and they'll be lining up. Second heat will follow them, but we're just a few short minutes away from getting this kicked off here tonight. James, that will conclude warm-ups here tonight. It's going to be a pretty quick turnaround, my friend. These drivers are going to go back. They're going to make some adjustments to their race car. We are going to step away for a quick set of commercial breaks. When we come back, we'll talk for a few minutes. We're going to have our pre-race ceremonies for the Eldora Million. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. This is the Eldora Million live on Flow Racing. Focus, guys. We're in a race to the finish, okay? Here's where the rubber meets the road. These initiatives move the needle like at all. Well, let's shift gears a minute. We're really kind of at the apex here. We need to put the pedal to metal. We need to nail those hairpin turns, cross that finish line, and take that checkered flag. Hit the track with the world's largest motorsports calendar, track day insurance, and more. Haggerty, let's drive together. Dirt Track Fantasy Racing is here with Dirt Draft. With action from the hottest drivers across all major dirt series, put your knowledge to the test with Dirt Draft. Sign up, draft your team, and redeem points for hundreds of different prizes. And for the first time ever, you can be crowned an official series fantasy champion. You can't play all season if you don't play today. To play, just go to DirtDraft.com or download the Dirt Draft app today. Become a fantasy racing champion. The fastest growing name in the motorsports industry is the racer's brand of safety gear and apparel. Winners wear K1.
Are you looking for a new race car hauler, work trailer, or easy-go golf cart? What about something dependable? How about buying from someone you can depend on? Contact Elliott's Custom Trailers and Carts today. They're a certified Featherlight dealer with all kinds of trailers and other products to fit your needs. Located just two hours north of downtown Indianapolis, they serve all of northern Indiana as well as the surrounding region. And guess what? Elliott's will deliver your trailer or cart anywhere in the U.S. Now that's what I call customer service. No matter where you're from or what you're looking for, the goal is always the same, ultimate customer satisfaction. So don't wait. Contact Elliott's today and find a trailer or golf cart that fits your needs. Legacies aren't built overnight. They take passion, desire, and a fire that burns within. For 20 years strong, we've been there to help you fuel that fire. And we'll continue to be there as your history is made. Pit Stop USA. Live like legends. Big dreams start with small victories. For over 30 years, we've manufactured high-quality, reliable, American-made parts. Whether you're cutting your first laps in a quarter midget, or competing for thousands of dollars in the biggest stage, Joe's Racing Products will be with you every step of the way. We'll be there for you. Visit us online at joesracing.com. You spent all week gearing up for the night. And when the flag drops, you know every driveline component on your car is dialed in to get you across the finish line and into the winner's circle. You know it because your car is Winters equipped. From quick change rears to suspension parts and transmissions, Winters builds the strongest, most reliable driveline components you can buy. We're in this with you, and we're in it for the win. Introducing the latest technology in the racing industry, Spring Rhythm. Spring Rhythm is an app that can replace a spring smasher, giving you access to the same information the fast guys are using to stay ahead. The app tells you where to set your coilover nuts to hit your install loads and tells you the dynamic loads that the car will see in travel. It also simplifies adjustments at the track, giving you the information needed to adjust loads without taking the shock off the car. Spring Rhythm has been rigorously tested to ensure accuracy. There's no excuse to not be using a spring smasher. Located in Parkersburg, West Virginia, Dave Posky's Performance Parts is the premier parts store in the Ohio River Valley. Housing all of the world's top name brands in motorsports, Dave Posky's Performance Parts is also home to Octane Race Products and Hoosier Tire Ohio Valley. And rest assured, we have what you need to get you on the track and into victory lane. Ordering is fast, easy, and simple, and can ship directly to your doorstep. Visit Dave Posky's Performance Parts online at posky.com or give us a call at 1-800-430-RACE. Dave Posky's Performance Parts, serving the Ohio River Valley and racers across the country since 1978. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Eldora Million here on Flow Racing as we inch closer towards opening ceremonies in that all-important first of six 15-lap heat races. James, the intensity is starting to creep up here to the press box where you and I are. Old school Eldora, the first three will advance. 
to the Adora Million. Yes. Only four through 11. Four through 11 go to a B. The rest are done for tonight. They'll have to try to make the dream on Saturday night starting tomorrow. There's only two provisionals, the two traditional provisionals. They'll start 19th and 20th. The two high point drivers that did not race their way in through the heats. Mike Marler and Chris Madden, they, out of 124 drivers, they're the only two guys that are guaranteed a starting spot in this 24-car field. And the, if they don't make it out of the heat, they don't have to run a B-Main. They do they not have to run a B-Main. We'll That's keep right. on going down the list till we get two. That's right. There's a good look. Those of you watching at home at the parking lot, some of the merchandise vendors, the sunset off to the west, still... 9.18 p.m. here in Ohio, brother, and uh, we still got some sunshine. There's a great winner's performance drone shot of the sunset off to the west as well. Eldora Speedway under the lights. You can't beat that at all. <laughs> That's just awesome. It's awesome. Yes, it is, man. It is awesome. 50-50, 85,000. 923 and again well how far would we go much longer after the heats or how are we going to do this i think probably for the heats they'll do last call let uh, my goal is to get to 100,000 by the end of the heats that way when they do last call we have this last you know little surge that right. pushes us up to you know 108 110 what whatever it is so we're we're at uh, we're at about 86,000 for the winner's share right now and I still, I, I have got to, I need to go to Eldora5050.com and get my tickets. I got it. So look, we, we've, we've said, what, a hundred times today that if you live in the state of Ohio, you can go to Eldora5050.com. Uh, and, and Ben, who's getting ready for, for pre-race, uh, he, he will not, Ben, we're not throwing it down to you yet, but Ben, just listen, you'll appreciate this. We've mentioned a hundred times yet to be in the state of Ohio to go to Eldora5050.com. Of all people, Billy Carroll sends me a text and says, uh, "No, I, yeah, look, no, I, 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 not Uncle Fester. I, no, I, I, I can't. I can't get fifty-fifty tickets." Oh. I mean, but he's how, he's how, my favorite Edelbrock employee, definitely over Chris <laughs> Douglas. But come on, Billy, you got to do better, it's buddy. A, it's a close race between those two, though, right? It is. I, I love, but I'm actually going to lunch with Chris this week, and I think I'm now going to be buying lunch because I said that about Chris. So, well, you just sealed your fate right there. <laughs> Man, you talk about the intensity, DJ. The intensity down here, and I've been I've been blessed to be down here for worlds and dreams. It's never felt like it does tonight, guys. This is this is something different. These drivers, they're not frowning, but they are very serious about what's about to go down here tonight at Eldora Speedway. Well, James, I mean, I, look, James, you and I have talked a lot. I mean, these these guys, they are they talk a lot about not being nervous, James. They talk about not being, uh, you know, butterflies in the stomach and stuff. I, I don't know that I believe them because I, I'm nervous standing up here right now, man. I mean, even even the most talented drivers, I would think probably probably has a few butterflies in the stomach before this race well you, you look at mike marler and chris man you think okay they're locked in it would be 19th and 20th but they want to run good in this heat race and start up front if they yes. win this, this first heat mikey marler he'll start sixth that'd be different than starting 19th and against everybody is so even we know that so you the farther up you can start even 101 laps if you don't get any cautions or something you could be in big trouble here tonight in this main event all right, well, James Essex, with that having been said, we are ready to get underway with our pre-race ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, we will send it down to the Eldora Victory Stage and to our very own Ben Shelton. Well, thank you very much, guys, and thank you to this amazing crowd here tonight as we get set for the second running of the Eldora Million. Right now, please join me in welcoming to the Eldora Victory Lane Stage the Miss Eldora representatives, Miss Mallory and Miss Savannah. All right, Mallory, you guys stay really busy this week. If somebody wants to see where you're at on the grounds, the content you've got for Eldora Speedway, where can they find it on social media? So you can find us on literally all of the social media platforms, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. And then we'll be out and about around the campgrounds and all around the track all weekend long. So please stop us, take a picture, anything. We will be out and about and... We are so excited for this weekend. Thank you, Miss Mallory. Miss Savannah, the last time there was an Eldora Million, 
You were in this victory lane, but you weren't born yet. You were born four days after that. Your dad won Donnie Moran. Tonight, your brother has a chance at history. What are the butterflies like? Honestly, I really haven't been able to sleep that much this week. I'm not really like a nervous person, but I have been nervous. I woke up this morning feeling very nervous. I'm proud of my brother. I know he's got a lot of weight on his shoulders right now, just with my dad and everything. We grew up with all the million dollar man, you know, how it is. But um, I don't know, I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be a good night. Got my fingers crossed. We've had a lot of good comments about Devin and yeah, I think it'll be good. I've got my hopes up. <laughs> well, either way, you're going to be up here later tonight. Could be another family member joining the Million Dollar Club. How about it for Miss Mallory and Miss Savannah, the Miss Eldora representatives? We now ask you if you are able to please rise for tonight's invocation and our Star Spangled Banner. Tonight's invocation by Mr. Russ Ward with Dirt Racing Outreach. Russ? Thank you so much, Ben. If you would join me in a word of prayer. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, God, I thank you, Lord, for such a beautiful day you blessed us with here at Eldora Speedway. God, we are just uh, are so happy and so blessed to be part of such a historical event, Lord, here today. God, we are thankful for those who have served this great country, men and women, who have gave their lives and sacrificed, God, and give their time, Lord, that we have the freedom to come and be a part of this event. Lord, but most of all, we thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus Christ that came, that we may have life eternal with you, God, in an, an eternal relationship. Watch over us today, God, and just be with us like you was in our other race. Watch and be, uh, can grant safety over our drivers, crew members, our staff, and our great fans as they go to and from. And Lord, as always, we forever praise you and thank you and honor you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, Russ. And now with our Star Spangled Banner, Mr. Austin Rissmiller. Miller. Well, I tell you what, guys, the history here tonight, there's so much energy. I want to see where the most energy is at, and I want to see who can be the loudest. So we're going to see which section is the loudest as we get ready to get this party started. We're going to start turns one and two. Are you ready to race here tonight? That's pretty good. Turns three and four. Are you ready to race here tonight? The bar has been set. Front straight away. Are you ready to race here tonight? One more question. Eldora Speedway, are you ready to race? James, Dustin, the people have spoken. The cars are coming to life. It's time to make history the second running of the Eldora Million, and it all kicks off right now. And Ben, as you were walking off the Eldora Victory Stage, you may or may not have seen the skydiving team landing at this time. Ben, I know you had an opportunity to talk to a few of those guys earlier. Eldora Speedway, how about a round of applause for the skydivers? They did an amazing job. Team Fast Track, America's skydiving team based out of Middletown, Ohio. 
And jumping with a live feed camera and streamer, Matt Harvey leading the way from Middleburg Heights. Jumping streamer is Kevin Dubas. And jumping uh, with an 1,100 square foot American flag, Larry Compton. Guys, that's how you start history here tonight. Just amazing, and we want to thank Team Fast Track for being here with us. DJ, <laughs> my friend, we could do a lot of cool stuff. Can you believe what's starting right now? I I, I cannot believe it, man. I, I really and truly cannot believe it. We are, uh, <laughs> as you and I had spoken in James and to, you know, to someone earlier, man, we are – we are race fans that are truly blessed, and I never, James, and a millionaire thought that I would get an opportunity to announce a $1 million to win race. Thank you, Eldora Speedway. Thank you, Flo Racing. Thank you, Tony Stewart, Mark Floriani, Roger Slack, Jerry Gappins, Michael Rigsby, everybody that has had a hand in this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, heat race number one is about to make its way out of the track for the Eldora Million. 15 laps is the distance. James in the first of six heat races here tonight. The top three drivers are going to transfer to the Eldora Million. They will represent starting positions six seven and 13 in tonight's 101 lap main event four through 11 of the b main if you're past 11th 12th on back you're done for the night you'll have to try for the dirt late model dream in 24 hours but one million dollars five thousand just to start this race here tonight 101 laps ladies and gentlemen the lineup looks like this Starting on the pole, your high point man from the preliminary race earlier today out of Winfield, Tennessee, it's the Winfield Warrior, Mike Marler. And on his outside, a prelim winner earlier today out of Mount Holly, North Carolina, it's the 22 of Fergie time, Chris Ferguson. Row to the 18 out of Mawikwa, Illinois. It'll be the Mawikwa miss, so it is Shannon Babb. And outside the high side tickler in Connor Barrett out of Mooresville, North Carolina, it is Kyle Strickler. We move back to row three on the inside. We find the driver of the 93F out of Lincoln to North Carolina. That is Carson Ferguson. And on his outside, out of Newport, Tennessee, in the 20, the Newport Nightmare, Jimmy Owen. Row four will be the 3S. It'll be Squirrel out of Chatham, Illinois. It'll be Brian Shirley. And on the outside out of manhattan kansas in the 18 it is chase young hands we move back to row five on the inside we find the driver out of worcester ohio in the 12 hammer down doug drown he'll be flanked by car number 10 starting in position number 10 out of milton florida it is joseph joiner on the inside of row number six out of bunbury western australia the number 31k it'll be kai blight and on the outside the 2s out of las cruces new mexico is stormy scott moving back to row seven we find the 18x out of villa rica georgia that is michael page and on his outside out of Houghton Lake, Michigan in the 6M, Dona Marcolier. Row 8 out of Searcy, Arkansas, the 2T. It'll be Tyler Stevenson on the outside. Out of Johnson City, Tennessee, the 83 is Jensen Ford. Wheelersburg, Ohio's Rod Conley going to start inside row 9. And on his outside in the M27, it's Mike Provenzano. Out of Ionia, Michigan, it's Bryant Dickinson in the 5. Former Dirt Late Malta Dream winner out of Menominee, Wisconsin, Jimmy Mars. And fairly a newcomer to Dirt Lake Motor Racing, Zane DeVilbus out of Farmington, New Mexico in the Bloomquist Zero. In all, 21 drivers. That is more than a feature at a lot of racetracks in the country. 21 drivers, James, are going to run a 15-lap heat race here tonight for the Eldora Million. Again, the winner of heat race number one will start sixth in the Eldora Million. Second place in this heat will start seventh in the Eldora Million. The third place finisher will start 13th. The drivers who finish fourth through 11th go to one of our B mains. The drivers who finish 12th on back, Ben and Mike, they are done for the night.
Well, I tell you what I like that I see. They're showing them one to go, DJ and James. It is time, the first of six heat races. And as you said, if you're not in the top 11, you're definitely going to be spectating the next night, the rest of the night with you and I. All right, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready, baby. Yes, sir. The Eldora Speedway Fort Raptor Pace Truck makes the hard left-hand turn into the infield. 15 laps is the distance. Mike Marler on the pole. Chris Ferguson on the outside. Eldora Speedway. Eldora Million Heat Race number one is underway. The first three drivers into the Eldora Million. Marler leading them through there. Fergie tries the outside. Fergie won one of the 25 lappers here this afternoon down the back straightaway. And here comes Kyle Strickler in eight. Oh, some guys are going to make some bold moves to get into this one. You've got to be in the 24 car starting field to have a shot at the million. These cats are going to throw caution to the win. Right now, Mike Marler leads. Chris Ferguson second. That's the battle for third. The third and final transfer spot is Shannon Bat nearly upsets that race car, James. The Cornet powered Longhorn of Ronnie Delk. The car owner, Mike Marler, out in front. There's Babb in the Team 018, Kyle Strickler in the Longhorn. Meanwhile, the top two have pulled away. Marler and Ferguson, who's going to get that final transfer spot out of turn number four here in Heat 1? Mike Marler leads Chris Ferguson second. Those two drivers have separated themselves by a few car lengths over your third place car, Shannon Babb. Chris Ferguson. Again, James, not a big difference in starting spots between these two positions right here. That's first and second on the track. Again, the winner of the heat race, this heat race, will start sixth in the Eldora Million. Second place will start seventh. These two drivers right now solidly in the show. Ferguson has had the best year of his career here already this year, and we're talking the first weekend in June. Fergie through the middle. Mikey Marler still out in front. Now, he's got a 50K to win race, win victory already this year. It is Marler, but... Over $1 million up for grabs, 100000 per second as those top two have pulled away. Babb solid in third at 18. Right now, Babb holds down that third and final transfer spot. There's a good look at Chris Ferguson trying to chase down your race leader, Mike Marler. Marler uh, with only six-tenths of a second lead over the 22 of Chris Ferguson. Shannon Babb right now in that third and final transfer spot. Kyle Strickler, the first driver on the outside looking in, as well as the 20 of Jimmy Owens right now. Doug Drown holds the last B-main spot, James. Guys like Stormy Scott, Michael Page, and Jimmy Mars, they're all on the outside looking in. As it, as it stands right now, James, they would not even make a B-main. Boy, Marler in heavy traffic. Here comes the Team Zero cars, Ferguson and Babb. Shannon Babb running strong. Here comes 18 down the back straightaway shot out of a cannon. Here comes Babb on the bottom, Dustin. Shannon Babb down to the inside, trying to work his way by the 22 of Chris Ferguson. Again, second place starts seventh. Third place starts 13th. Top three cars all right there together with six laps to go. It's a Longhorn and pair of Team Zero cars. Mikey Marler, the 44-year-old out of Winfield, Tennessee, came on the racing scene tw some 20 years ago, winning the Bow the Bluegrass Dirt Car Series after an accomplished modified career. Down the back straight, we look at it. Got a slower car in front of your leaders. Chris Ferguson going to try to work his way down to the inside of Mike Marler and keep Shannon Babb at bay. Marler leads, Ferguson second, Babb in third, top three drivers all right there together, Babb down to the inside of Fergie. And here comes 20 and 8, uh -oh. Owens and Strickler. Uh -oh. oh baby, it's in. really picking up now up front. Three spots for the Eldora Million out of this first heat and Marler still has to contend with the 83 of Jensen Ford. Those top five, six cars all in the same half straightaway of each other. If Marler can work by Jensen Ford, James, he's gonna have a little bit of clear track, but here comes Chris Ferguson. Whoa, Fergie how did he clear Ford? Oh, he throws a haymaker at him. Guys, there's only one position different to the starting spot in the A main. You're both in the show. Chris Ferguson to the race lead, James. How did he clear Jensen Ford, putting him a lap down? Fergie, Marler, Babb, Rick Monroe, white flag. The first three into the Eldora Million, Dustin. Who's it gonna be? Final time around here in K1 race gear. Heat race number one, Ferguson, Marler, Bab running one, two, three. Jimmy Owens right now in fourth. Kyle Strickler in fifth. Checkered flag in the air. The winner of K1 race gear. Heat number one is going to be Chris Ferguson. Mike Marler finishes second. Shannon Babb third. Those three drivers transfer to the Eldora Million. 
Fourth, Jimmy Owens. Fifth, Kyle Strickler. Sixth, Chris Ferguson. Seventh, Chase Younghands. Eighth, Brian Shirley. Ninth, Kai Blight. Tenth, Joseph Joyner. Eleventh, Stormy Scott. Twelfth, Doug Durant. Eleventh was Stormy Scott. Those drivers go into one of the B mains a little bit later on. Doug Drown, the first driver on the outside looking in. Twelfth on back. Those drivers are finished for the night. What a move in traffic. So the top three, they'll go to the scales to make it official. Jimmy Owens will grab four, so he'll be in the front row of a B main. Shannon Babb third. Second, Mike Marler. As Owens crosses the scales, but your winner right now, before he gets to the scales, the number 22, ladies and gentlemen, how about it out of Mount Holly, North Carolina, that Team Zero car? It's Fergie time. How about it for Chris Ferguson? The Show Me 100 winner, ben, De ben and Mike, what a move he made in traffic to get the lead as Marler had led all the way till about three to go. Mike, I know you're waiting to talk to Chris Ferguson, but as Randy Weaver said, for one spot, he almost ended up in the fence. But, hey, when you're running for a million, every spot counts. Over to you, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. I was just going to ask him that same question. Can't wait to get him down here, of course, 22. Starting sixth, is he enough? Yes, sir. And a bold move through lap traffic. Well, starting six, it's official. The heat race winner out of Mount Holly, North Carolina. We'll pull him up here. My good friend, I didn't get a chance to talk to him after that feature. He continues to have one of the best hot rods here. And of course, in 2022, he continues to impress. We'll let him catch his breath here in this Team Zero race car. Chris, a bold move in lap traffic, but sometimes for a million dollars, you got to make a move like that. You'll start sixth in the million dollar race here tonight at Eldora Speedway, my friend. Yeah, this uh, this Team Zero race car is really fast right now. Um, you know, I hate to throw a slider, but uh, Bab peaked under me there. When Bab was under me, I was like, well, we got to get what we can. And uh, luckily, Mike just called the lap car at the wrong time. and. And I got to run on him off down the back stretch, and I was like, well, this is my only chance to get the heat win. And, and uh, this is just an unbelievable weekend so far. I'm just so thankful to be here. Well, we wish you, wish you the best in a 100 lapper, man. I hope to see you on that big stage. And thank you, Mike. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, excited to race for this million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, could it be Fergie time one million times later on tonight? He wins heat number one. All right, K1 race gear, heat race number two, about to make its way onto the racetrack. 15 laps into the distance. Top three drivers going to transfer to the Eldora Million James. They will start in positions 5, 8, and 14 in tonight's 101 lap main event. The Dryden 44 on the pole at a great court, South Carolina. It'll be Chris Smokey Madden outside the 40B out of Brandon, Florida. It'll be Kyle Bronson. Row two on the inside out of Chalk Hill, Pennsylvania. The 9Z is Mason Ziegler. He'll be flanked by the driver out of Chandler, Arizona in the SSI Motorsports 20RT, Ricky Thornton. Jr. The PCC Motorsports 11 out of Meridian, Mississippi. It'll be Spencer Hughes in his throwback 91 out of New Waverly, Texas. It's Turbo Tyler Herb. A fourth throwback on the inside on the Barry Wright House car out of Mooresville, North Carolina. It's Nick Hoffman, and on his outside out of Hawkinsville, Georgia, in the 19M, that is Will Harrington. Row five out of Allison Park, Pennsylvania, be Colton Flynn, and on the outside, the reigning all-star circuit of champion sprint car titleist. He won the 38th Kings Royal here last July out of Indianapolis, Indiana, the 7 BC. It's Sunshine Tyler Courtney. We move back to row six out of Blenheim, Ontario, Canada. The 88 is Andrew Riom, and on his outside, now out of Knoxville, Tennessee, in the 20. 23, John Blankenship. Row seven on the inside, 10-time World of Outlaw Sprint Car Champion. It's Donnie Schatz out of Fargo, North Dakota. Dustin Abbey alongside out of Batesville, Indiana, the 5N. Row eight's going to be Brimfield, Illinois, Tim Lance in the 48, and G.R. Smith in the 22X. The rest of the field, James, looks like this. Trevor Landrum, Robbie Hensley, Daniel Hilzebeck, Eric Mitchell.